Hey guys, so as you can probably tell, I'm sitting in a very aggressive peacock chair. This video is definitely more vlog style. Today is Wednesday, I moved into my new Nashville apartment on Monday. Things got a little stressful and so unfortunately I could not film a completely empty apartment tour. So you guys are unfortunately going to have to look at these ugly boxes. But when I moved into the apartment that I lived in in LA, you guys loved that Caitlin and I filmed that empty apartment tour. Plus I wanted to reveal which apartment I ended up moving into. If you guys do like this video, be sure you give it a big thumbs up. As you'll be able to tell from this video, this apartment is very modern, like industrial almost. And that's not my style at all. And I know you guys thought I was gonna go with the first apartment, um, but unfortunately, at the end, just like it just made sense for me to live in an apartment by myself because something about living in a townhouse by myself was really scary. Making it my own. I'm working with it as much as I can to make it as bohemian as I possibly can. I'm excited to bring you guys on this journey. My furniture gets delivered today, and so be sure you are subscribed so you can see my moving vlogs and you can kind of see how everything is coming together. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop into apartment tour. This is the entryway. Very beautiful floors. To the left we have a nice like closet space and it's like a really big closet. I've never had a like additional closet in a one bedroom apartment so this is really exciting. As you can see I have a ton of shit in here already. Pretend it's not there. It has a bunch of my coats back here and all that fun stuff like the best air mattress ever and clothes that I'm not necessarily wearing right now. So that is the glamorous double door. Right here is the main door. Woo. I already hung some anthropology mirrors as you can see. Nothing too exciting. Then you head down the hallway and to your left is a washer and dryer. Then here we have like the heater cooler thing and then ignore all this. Leads you to the bedroom and the bathroom. But we're gonna go this way. But instead we're gonna go this way. So imagine this completely empty. I'm so sorry once again for not filming in a full-on empty apartment tour, but I figured it was better to do it before I got the furniture in and everything like that. As you can see, this is going to be the living room area. I'm getting a couch delivered today right here. I have a coffee table and then the console table comes today. This is a wishbone chair that I actually got from Target. Uh, and then that's a throw from Anthropology. These rugs are super cool. Um, this one's from Anthropology, and this one is from Rugs USA. Guys, this is so perfect. Like, look at this. <sighs> Okay, hey Miller. Hey Mill. Hi. <laughs> but like, I love this rug because it's just got so many different colors in it. And so, oh, and I think Miller wants me to play. Okay, and then over here is gonna be kind of like where my desk is. I have my iMac, bunch of construction stuff. Um, and this is my old console table from CB2. One of my favorite parts about this apartment is kind of like the industrial feel it has. And I love this huge cement pillar. Exposed ventilation? Is that what it's called? Vent and cement ceilings and everything like that. I think it's really, really cool. I just struggled a lot with trying to make this space more me because it is so modern. Thanks, Miller. As you can see, this is my new coveted item. I'm obsessed with this. I ordered this a few weeks ago just by some lucky strike and it's my peacock chair, so I don't know really exactly where I'm going to put that yet, but I'm so excited. You're annoying. Miller wants me to throw the ball again. Then over here is the back. Something else I guess I haven't mentioned is how amazing these floor to ceiling windows are. Like, whew. I don't even think we need to talk about that, do we, Mill? Once again, I apologize for the boxes, but you're just kind of getting a visual for the space. This is a counter height counter, obviously, and so I need to get two counter stools, but I haven't figured out where exactly I want to get them. I kind of want to get wishbone stools. I didn't come over here whenever I was touring the apartment, so I had no idea that this counter was actually storage, so that's amazing. Like, I probably won't use most of this for cooking, but agendas in here, nothing in here, nothing, and then just adult stuff, like tax stuff and all that fun stuff. And Miller again. The kitchen is 
absolutely stunning i love it because it has like kind of a mixture of like obviously the walls in here are white but like the cabinets are almost like an ivory color and so i just have a bunch of stuff laid out here i got this adorable paper towel holder from world market and then you know anthropology stuff my friend got me these for christmas so those were on display a bunch of random stuff microwave oven a ton of storage and a ton of storage down here dishwasher and then i have a refrigerator let's do this cribs edition show you guys what's in my refrigerator we have carrot cake candy from easter diet coke and a water filter my home girl alexa who's not connected yet miller stop now moving on so in here is my bathroom and i love my bathroom it is so perfect here we have the cabinets um this is a lot less storage than the place i had before and so just i have all of my glam glow stuff in here hair products there and then toilet paper bath bombs and stuff we're still trying to figure out what we're gonna do with this if you guys have any recommendations on how to store makeup um i'm thinking of getting the ikea alex container and just putting it next to the toilet but tampons the wood floor continues into here, which I think is really cool because I'm not a big tile person, but I got this adorable, adorable bath mat from Anthropology. This thing shelf is about to go up here. Then there's like toilet and the beautiful shower curtain. I got this from Anthropology. It's on sale now, so go check that out. Link is in the description box. Then I got this cute basket, which I'm gonna use as kind of like a hamper. And it just matches perfectly from World Market. Miller returns yet again with a ball and his pizza. But anyway, so here is my bedroom. It's a lot bigger than I like actually thought it was. It fits a king bed. This is a king Casper mattress. It is so freaking comfortable. I love it, love it, love it. And I'm getting like the bed delivered today. Still continuing in with the concrete ceiling, which I love and a big window. And God said, let there be light, Miller. I just have a suitcase over here, but I need to get two nightstands and lights because this place does not have any lighting on the ceiling which I completely didn't notice but anyway and then I have this humongous closet which is clearly still getting unpacked and everything like that I just have this dresser that I got from Ikea stuff I'm unpacking shoes jackets ton of clothes basically all free people and show me removal like all of my dream closet is like right here which is amazing and just a few bags up there and my new quilt from anthropology because my bed's getting delivered today and i didn't want this to be in the way and miller with his ball again <laughs> yeah so that is pretty much the so apartment. that is my apartment i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up one more time i am so sorry about all the boxes and stuff um, it is just the reality of moving, unfortunately. I still think you guys get a general idea for how my space looked pretty much empty, so. Sorry, love me still. So if you guys do like this video, be sure you hit subscribe and also check out probably like a moving vlog or something that I have like right here on the screen. And until next time, I will talk to you all later. I'm gonna go get a Diet Coke because it's 9 a.m. and I need some caffeine. <laughs> I'll talk to you all later. Bye.